Hey guys, Lou here, Tiny Mountain Houses. I'm ready to show you a beauty. This is a brand new model for us. It's the Nicholas Ridge. It's 26 feet long, dual lofts, bathroom on the end, the galley kitchen, flex room, and it really looks amazing. Uh, roof line on the shed roof. So we've got one slant going all the way across. Of course, our 40 year siding, our 40 year roof, fly to the moon efficiency windows, Let's go inside. I know you're dying to see it because I'm dying to show it to you. Come on. All right, guys, here we are inside. Check it out. I mean, I, I really, I, you know, I, I hate to sound a little overly exuberant about this, but I'm really excited about it. I, I think it, you know, what it is, it's a morphing of what used to be our sweeping ladder to now become a ribbon staircase. I mean, what I think just really makes this elegant is, is the handrail, it's all steel. You notice the twisting, and that's why I call it a ribbon staircase. Look at the step treads on this. I mean, these are an inch and a half thick. I mean, they are solid. It's, it's meaty, it's really sturdy. But uh, once again, I, I just really wanted to point it out to you because I'm, I'm truly excited about this. And it really is a nice feature to all, most of our houses now. Um, and it can be used going into most of the lofts that we build today. So, cool stuff, isn't it? Anyway, I wanna uh, now point your attention to, uh, in this new house in Nicholas Ridge, this is an optional snack bar. Now this is, yes, it's the black walnut that I, that I use a lot of, but look at the thickness of this. Look what we've done here. When we've doubled it up, really gave it some, some, some real beef. I mean, it really looks solid, doesn't it? Um, this is almost, uh, it's a little bit over five feet in length. A lot of times we'll do a, a Murphy table here, and we could do that too. We can't do it with this design, but you know we can substitute that with, with something like, you know, like what I just talked about with a Murphy. Anyway, I wanna give you that. Um, as we walk through this build, I wanna take you into the kitchen here. You'll see the galley kitchen that I mentioned uh, when we were outside on my right. Um, you know, you might see some similarities in this floor plan to our Mount Bachelor. And this is where those similarities change. This kitchen is actually flipped from, from our bachelor with the sink and the window now on the front door side. Now we've added quartz countertops in here, um, done the apron sink, the spring style commercial faucet. Um, we've added the blue gray uh, cabinets in this house with the upgrade rod pulls and soft close doors, soft close drawers. I mean, it's an awesome feature. I'm gonna go over to my left here this house features a standard apartment size stainless steel refrigerator. Um, it also features the drop-in uh, three burner range with the cool blue lights. Uh, we've got the uh, microwave range hood that's vented outside the house, also stainless steel. So here we go again, we've got the uh, pantry cabinet here, soft clothes, adjustable shelves inside. I think I'm gonna walk into the flex room here. Now this flex room is a little over six feet. I think it's six foot four or so, and we're almost eight feet in width, but a nice area here. I mean, right now we've got it set up as a living room with the sectional in here. I mean, it can be a bedroom. I can close it off with a barn door if you want. Um, so there's a lot of flexibility in this flex room. So windows on all three walls here. You know, I wanna point out the finishes in here. We've got the, uh, the pine beams here. We've done something a little bit different on the ceiling as well as on the top of, the, or I should say the loft floor with this birch ply here. So I think it you know, adds another feature that might be a little bit different than you've seen from us in the past. Um, lighting in here, what you see are standard lights. I mean, we've got plenty of lighting in, in all of our houses. Uh, in this kitchen area, you see we've got the slim light cans that are recessed up into the ceiling area. Um, turned out pretty cool, don't you think? All right, guys, so let's take a peek at the bathroom in this unit. Um, before we walk in there, I wanna make a point here of letting you know, pocket door, standard into the bathroom. You always wanna do that. A swinging door just takes up way too much, too much room. But inside this bathroom, it's prepped for a washer dryer space. It has two nice size overhead cabinets for linen or storage. It has a 
great sized um, vanity countertop with the sink. We've got the tile backsplash. This has laminate countertops, the china sink, and the satin nickel hardware for, for all the faucets in there. So, uh, we've got the residential toilet in here. And I know, if you don't know it by now, we can do a variety of other toilets, whether composting, incinerating, dry flush. I mean, the list goes on and on. So basically to meet your needs, or your site's needs, I should say. But look at this bathroom. You've got a, a smaller uh, shower, one piece, always. I don't like sectional showers. They can leak, they can form mold, and just cause you issues. So I don't like to go there. All right, this is the moment we've all been waiting for, at least I have. So I'm gonna ascend this, uh, this staircase up to the primary loft. And real quick, primary loft, we're just over 11 feet by eight feet in width. Um, the height at the highest point in that loft from the floor up is 51 inches. So you know, what I didn't mention when I was outside is this is an extended height of build. So in other words, we dropped the frame uh, by three inches and we've added those three inches up into the loft space, giving you a little more headroom up there. Now, you can't stand up, but you can sure sit up. You sit up in the bed, you've got some mobility up there that you wouldn't necessarily have otherwise. Three inches is a lot, a tiny house. So let's go on up. Way cool staircase. Voila. Check it out. So with that, come on up here, guys. I'm going to show you the primary loft. Here we are. Primary loft. We've got two egress windows. Plenty of uh, cross breeze ability up here. Notice the headspace at that 51 inches I had mentioned. Lots of lighting up here, guys. I mean, it really feels nice. Queen size bed. We've got two nightstands here, plenty of walk around space, and a lot of depth. The closet that's also standard in this build, plenty of space in there. That's almost three feet. So with that, cool stuff, guys. Hope you, hopefully you can appreciate some of the elements that are up here. So let's swivel around here. I'm going to show you some more stuff. Here we are in the secondary loft of the Nicholas Ridge. You know, we've got almost six feet in depth, eight feet in width. You know, as the secondary loft, I mean, really, this can be used as, as a bedroom with a, with a single bed. You can't really put a queen up here, there's not enough room. Um, this can be used, you know, versatility is the name of the game here. So, you know, whether it's another bedroom, whether it's closet, um, a reading area like we've got set up here, a gaming area. I mean, there's so many things you can do with this space, but the bottom line is it's up to you. I mean, we're building this to meet your needs. So as we're in this space here, the same 51 inches of head space uh, as in the primary loft, um, the same two windows, egress windows. Uh, in the event of emergency, egress means you can get out of here. So that's important. And plus it gives you a cross breeze uh, in this area, keeping the area nice and cool. One of the things that I wanna mention is the lighting. You know, as we walk through the Nicholas Ridge build, You'll have noticed um, sconce lighting throughout, lots of lights. Can lighting, we use slim LED can lights, as well as these, these sconces are LEDs as well. So they're energy saving. Um, finishes, uh, white beadboard, walls, ceiling. Uh, millwork is all white, giving you a nice feel. I think it's a contemporary look, and I think it opens it up. I mean, I don't know if I mentioned the windows, but I will in a minute again. 80 inch windows, lots of light. Um, and those windows are super energy efficient, by the way. They're residential windows, they're argon gas filled, they're called low E windows, essentially what that means, they call them smart glass sometimes, that, that, that it deflects the heat of the sun in the summertime and allows it to come in in the wintertime. I mean, that's pretty cool stuff. This is, I think, and a beautiful build and hopefully you can appreciate you know some of the amenities and, and the time that we've taken to make this what it is um, you know just to recap this house uh, 26 feet long um, dual lofts usable floor space in this house is just above 370 square feet when you count count the loft space um, we've got the shed roof We've got the 40-year uh, LP siding. We've got a 40-year metal roof on this house. It's fully insulated. Fly to the moon efficiency windows, argon gas, low E, the smart glass feature. Um, that's the good stuff. 
Um, this house has the white finish, the extended height ceilings in here, the large windows, and I'm getting to it. The way cool ribbon staircase. Um, you know, hopefully, once again, you know, you can you can appreciate um, the design, the components, and the things that separate tiny mountain houses from from the rest of the pack. Honestly, um, so as we you know, complete kind of the, the the overview of this build, um, this also has in it a mini split, which is a ductless heating and cooling system, very efficient an on-demand tankless water heating system that runs on propane. You'll never run out of hot water, provided you've got propane and water coming into this build. I mean, that's, that's good stuff. Um, it's got the apartment size refrigerator, stainless steel. We've got the microwave range hood, stainless steel, vented to the outside. Um, we've got the three burner propane range, drop-in, stainless steel with the cool blue lights, uh, apron sink, the um, commercial spring-style faucet, um, got some pretty cool elements in this build. Cabinetry, we've gone to the blue-gray with the um, rod-style hardware, soft close feature in the drawers and doors. Um, quartz countertops, the uh, subway tile backsplash in this build. And then also, don't let me forget, my favorite here, the black walnut um, snack bar with a nice beefy edge here. I mean, I really love the, the finish of this wood. Um, and just how beautifully when it's oiled, it just, you know, just, just really stands out. I mean, it really is one of my favorites. Um, if you want something different, cool, I can do it. I, mean, I don't mean to go gushing on and on about it, about it but, but I really like um, how, it, how it comes off. Um, large windows, 80 inch windows in this build. And by the way, they all open and they close too. So uh, I didn't talk about the front door. Um, it is a single light with the built-in blinds. Um, we've got a nice lock set hardware in this contemporary look. Um, this house, when you walk into the bathroom, you've got the one piece shower. You've got the good size counter area with a bank of drawers, two linen cabinets. It's prepped for a washer dryer. So it's got the stuff, guys. Flex room. So we got flex room in this house. Um, six foot four, I think, is the depth by eight foot in width. It can be a bedroom. Right now we've got it set it up, at, set it up, set up as a as a living room area with a sectional in there. But once again, I mean it's flexibility, right? Um, so it's up to you what you want to do with that space. So there's our build, guys. Um, thank you for checking us out. It was a pleasure sharing this build with you. Hopefully you can appreciate it. If you have any questions, you know what to do. You know, give us a call, send us an email, text, however you want to communicate. We'd love to hear from you. Um, Give us a little like there if you like us, that'd be great. And once again, you know, Lou here, Tiny Mountain Houses, all the staff, I mean, we truly appreciate you checking us out. You know, if you are looking for a tiny house builder, I can assure you we will do a great job for you. Thanks a lot. Peace be with you.